Hello guys and welcome to the first of many Android tutorials. So first off, understand we're going to be working with Android Native, which in this case is going to be using Android Studio. Why are we using Android Native? Well, eventually other so forth so on that does Android might change a bit, might something might happen, their code might completely change or I don't know what, uh, they might have uh, bugs here and there or you need some fixes or etc. They might have a bigger hassle. I'm not saying they're bad because most of them will allow you to create a project and send it off in 20 different platforms like Android, iOS, Windows and so on. But in this case, we're going to stick to Android, master it as much as we can and eventually maybe move on to another platform too and master that one and, you know, and so on. So, uh, <clears throat> you should all know that Android is with the language Java in the background. Um, there's a few other languages that they're trying to get out, like one is something similar to Swift, um, and a few other ones, but they're still all using pretty much Java in my opinion, at least that's what I understood from it. Anyway, so using Java as the background language, we're going to just get started and figure stuff out. Uh, I would recommend you guys to hook up your... Android phone to your laptop, okay, connected with the wire and make sure USB debugging is turned on. We'll eventually talk about it in a different video how to get it set up and so forth so on. It shouldn't be too long. Now, let's talk about Android. So currently I have Android Studio open here. Alright, you might be using Windows or Linux or some other platform. I'm currently using um, <coughs> Mac. It shouldn't matter. It should practically or 99% the same, okay? So before we stick inside Android and talk about, well, at least the whole interface here, uh, I want you guys to see something, which is this, okay? So on Stack Overflow, they started doing this cool thing, which is a documentation part, all right? So if you just go on stackoverflow.com, you would have this part called documentation, click on that, and then go on Android. Why am I telling you this? Because this is absolutely amazing. Well, you have the question parts where hundreds of people ask questions about Android. So if we just go on Android just to see a couple questions. So you see I'm using the tag just to see Android question type of stuff. And you could change it to votes. So you kind of see these questions that are really relevant to you and they will help you out a lot. So in this case, what is the difference between PX, DP, DIP, and SP on Android? And if you click on it, just to give you a layout how it looks, this is the title, this is the guy asking the question, and the best answer would always be the first one with the highest votes. Okay? So here you could it's telling you, well, PX means pixels, correspond to actual pixels on the screen. IN means inches ba based on the physical size of the screen. One inch equals 2.5, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and so forth so on. And they're really nice because these guys, they're not one person answering. There's many of them, a lot of them. See, like this is the second answer, right? And the third answer and the fourth answer. And I don't, I don't just say, hey, just look at the first answer and move on. You could check the other answers. Sometimes they give some extra feedback and so forth so on. But usually the first answer, by the votes of people coming here, understanding it and like looking for the question itself or resolving their own problem, which was the same as that question, say, hey, this answer is actually the best one in that case. All right. Anyway, so that's for the stack overflow part for the questions. But if you go on the documentation, that's a really nice place because let's say you don't have a question, but you're trying to figure stuff out or trying to understand a topic more and so forth and so on, this would be your bet. Okay, they have documentation obviously on everything else, but Android here is the one we're going to be focusing on for now. And by the way, if you don't know Java, might as well just go on Java, should be somewhere in here. I don't know, it's somewhere in here and you guys also should look into Git because that's really nice, you need to save your projects, so forth so on. You know, there's multiple pages. Anyway, let's go back to, oh actually Java is right under. Okay, so let's go back to Android. So just to give you a little demo here too, if you notice there's like intent, okay? You're like wondering what, what is intent, so forth so on. 
they would give you a little explanation of what it is, then give you a bunch of examples, how to use it, if you want to do something specific, so forth, so on. And this time, it's not only one answer, you go through it all of it, okay? Because it's really throughout, they, they give you everything you need to know about intents, right? So for us, we're going to go on getting started with Android. And if you follow this along, it should be similar to what we're going to be doing with my tutorials, okay? So I don't know exactly what's all there is in here. But there are some parts that I'm going to show you specifically because I really like them myself. Like one of them is to clean your log cat. We'll get back to that. Anyway, so this is pretty straightforward. And as you can see, it's a lot of screenshots, step by step, teaching you things, which is really helpful and useful. Okay. So going back to our Android Studio here. Um, so let's just talk about this interface and then we're going to create a new project and we're going to talk about that, okay, before we start. So when you start Android Studio, this is the first thing you see. If you notice on the left side, you might not be seeing anything, but this is where all these semi-projects, well, all the projects that you have will start appearing in, okay? Obviously, the name of your project and where it's located. Notice that every project is an actual folder, okay? So when you want to send that project to someone else, you don't send one file, you send a bunch of things, a whole folder, okay? So in this case would be the whole folder called HOLA, all right? Or in this one called Basic Transition. It's usually the last one. And if you're on Windows, it would be something C colon slash slash users, blah, 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 etc. okay? Now, moving on to this part. This is interesting. By the way, if you're on version 2.2.3, this is the latest at this moment. You might be ahead, you might be behind. Okay, if you're behind, usually you would see a pop-up on the top right of this window to say, hey, update your stuff, which is great. You should, in my opinion, update because you could always backtrack to the versions you want to work on. But you can't work on something that you don't have. Uh, let's say if you're in a team and that guy's version 2.3 ahead of you, you can't help him out or work on the same project. But him, if you created the project and you're version 1 or say whatever it is, and they're at version 2, he could work on yours because he still has whatever you needed to create that project and use, right? So there's a bunch of stuff on the right side we need to understand. So starting a new project, you would click on this. I'm going to click it in a bit. For now, let's just move on. If you already have a project and it's not on the left, this is recently used, right? You would go in there, figure out where the folder is, the root folder, and point to that. So in this case, give you an example. Um, so let's see where these ones are at. So this one's download, basic transition. So I would go on my downloads. I would go on basic transitions, right? And look, the icon is already there saying, hey, this is an Android project. You see all of this belongs to my Android project. So what I need to do is select the folder. You'll see that icon thingy. Press OK. And with that, I would get the project opened up. Okay. For now, we're going to skip it for a second. You could also get it from some repository somewhere, like let's say GitHub and so forth and so on. Uh, it gives you a whole bunch of lists. And you just have to, you know, set up your account and figure out where it is and it will just download everything for you okay this is a great way if you don't know much about get um, using this would allow you to use a GUI built in inside your Android studio which would do most of the work for you I'm more of a guy that rec wants to do it with uh, <coughs> with with the command line commands right so get status see how I'm doing and so forth so on. anyway going back to these things if you ever made your project or if you're using a different IDE, in this case we're using Android Studio, you would need to press import project from this, okay? Not an open existing Android Studio project. Okay, this is, I find them really weird because one's doing it this way, the other one's doing it this way, so you can't really open the same, well, the same, uh, uh, an Android project with the same IDEs. It will just mess up and so forth so on. And I would really suggest you guys use at least Android Studio, okay? 
it's made by it's based off IntelliJ, okay, and it's the focus of the uh, of Google Corporation. I don't know now they're called ABC or something. Anyway, so everyone's focusing on Android Studio. So the biggest support you're gonna get is that, especially more people are on this than they're on Eclipse and whatever else there is. Okay. And again, more people on it means whenever you have a question, more people will answer it. This is also one of the reasons I don't want to go with a third-party Android. Okay, so that's for that. Last thing, last, is this one. Or actually, well, these we're going to skip for now. We're going to come back to it later. Import an Android code sample. This is really useful, so I would suggest you click on it. If you notice here, if you scroll down and so forth so on, Pretty much everything you ever done on your Android phone is going to be here. <clears throat> so by that, it would give you a sense of how to create something. Okay, I don't suggest using this right off the bat where you don't know anything. But coming back later, hey, how do I make this type of menu? Hey, if I wanted to make it style type, you just wait a second and it looks like this. Okay, so let's see something else. If I wanted to do stuff in the background right there's a whole category on it um, if I want to grab from the camera if I wanted to connect something um, let's see what else design this is interesting so if I wanted to have a borderless button right okay these are really cool stuff and most of them will have a picture some of them won't it's life let me see if you want to use NFC's Firebase this is great if you want to do database and so forth so on Okay, so this thing, it's example codes already pre-done for you. All you got to do is select the one you need, press next, make it happen. Okay, and there's going to be a lot of comments. I'm pretty sure there's even, uh, if you go on their GitHub, you could see the code, see what's going on, and so forth, so on. If you need help, maybe there's someone talking about the project. Now let's go back. Um, so... We're going to stop here for a second. We'll come back with the next video and we'll talk about how to create a new project.